Ah, huh, greetings, fellow hunters. Well, time to take another look at time to take a look at another episode from Supernatural season one. And today we're going to be looking at Bloody Mary. <laughs> In Toledo, Ohio, three young girls are playing a truth or are playing truth or dare. Lily stares to say Bloody Mary three times in front of the bathroom mirror. The other girls scare her by banging on the door. Then Lily's father, Stephen Shoemaker, appears and tells him to be quiet. As he returns to his bedroom, a figure appears in every mirror he passes. <clears throat> when he looks in the bathroom mirror, his eyes start bleeding. His oldest daughter, Donna, later discovers him dead in a pool of blood. In the Apollo, Sam wakes from another nightmare about Jessica, which he won't speak about. He and Dean visit the morgue and bribe the attendant so that <clears throat> so they can view Stephen Shoemaker's body. While the cause of death is unclear, his skull was full of blood and his eyeballs had liquefied. Visiting the Shoemaker house following the funeral, Sam and Dean speak to Shoemaker's daughters and Donna's friends, Jill and Charlie. Lily reveals she feels responsible for his death after invoking Bloody Mary. The boys look for clues in the bathroom when Charlie finds them. They admit they think there is something suspicious about Stephen's death, and Sam gives Charlie his cell number in case she thinks of anything helpful. Later that night, while on the phone to Charlie, Jill jokingly says Bloody Mary three times in front of the mirror. Soon after, Jill sits in front of her mirror and, it, and the eyes and the reflection in her mirror start bleeding, and the reflection says, You did it. You killed that boy. Jill's own eyes start bleeding, and she dies. Charlie reports Jill's death to Sam and Dean and helps them get in Jill's bedroom. On the back of her mirror, they find the name Gary Bryman. Research shows that he was a young boy killed in Hidden Run, and the description of the car involved matches Jill's car. At the Shoemaker house, they find the name Linda Shoemaker inscribed on the mirror, which was the name of Stephen's wife who died suspiciously after a sleeping pill overdose. Dean starts researching all deaths of a woman called Mary who died in front of a mirror and finds the death in Indiana, the <clears throat> Mary Worthington. The brothers traveled to Indiana and speak to the police detective who worked her case. Mary was 19 when someone broke into her apartment, murdered her, and cut off her eyes with a knife. Before she died in front of a large mirror, she tried to spell out the killer's name, but only managed the letters T-R-E. A surgeon named Trevor Sampson was suspected, but nothing was ever proven after her murder went on, and her murder went unsolved. Although she was cremated, the boys postulate that Mary's spirit was trapped in the mirror, which they found had been recently sold to a shop in Toledo. Meanwhile, Donna and Charlie are in the school bathroom, where Donna says Bloody Mary three times. Charlie begins seeing the figure in front of surfaces. Distraught, she seeks out Sam and Dean. She had a boyfriend who was threatening to kill himself if, if she left him. When she left, he committed suicide. Sam and Dean remove or cover all reflective surfaces in the motel room so Charlie could stay there. Sam and Dean decide that to destroy Mary, they need to summon her. Sam offers to do it because she seems to be targeting people associated with deaths who, can, who keep secrets. Dean argues that his guilt over Jessica's death is misplaced and he's not keeping any secrets, but Sam says Dean does not know everything. After summoning Mary, she appears, and Sam's eyes start to bleed. His reflection accuses him of being responsible for Jessica's death and reveals that he had nightmares about how she would die for days before the event, but failed to warn her. Dean smashes the mirror, <clears throat> but Mary emerges from the frame and advances on Sam and Dean. Finally, Dean shows Mary her own reflection, who accuses her of killing people, causing her to self-destroy. Dean smashes the mirror and she disappears. The boys take Charlie home, and Sam tells her not to feel guilty over her boyfriend's death because she couldn't have prevented it. Dean tells Sam it's good advice. As they leave, Dean asks Sam what his secret was, but Sam refuses to tell him. Just then he sees Jessica, standing on a street corner in a long nightgown, before she disappears. Do -do 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 -do. <clears throat> so anyway, let's take a look at some continuity surrounding this episode. This is the first appearance of Mary Worthington. Jessica Moore previously appeared in the pilot. And now finally, on to some trivia. Genevieve Buechner, sorry if I mispronounced that, who played the girl Lily Shoemaker, who first summoned Bloody Mary, also plays Samantha in the episode Mint Condition in Season 14, Episode 4. The episode is set in Eric Kripke's hometown. Sometimes the characters in the dialogue are shoutouts to his friends. The anime episode Till Death Do Us Part is loosely based on this episode. On the, yeah, 
It's loosely based on this episode. Nice. So, Ron, I think this is a pretty scary episode, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about it. <clears throat> so, overall, I give Bloody Mary four angel blades out of five. <clears throat> well, I mean, well, anyway, tune in tomorrow so we take a look at the episode Skin. So, until then, carry on, my wayward sons and daughters.